welcome to my youtube channel it planet if this video is helpful to you then don't forget to hit like button and subscribe the channel it planet in this video we are going to see the exercise solution of the class 7th chapter number 2 that is computer virus let's start the video first question take the correct answer in that question number 1 Dash dash gets activated every Friday, which occurs on the 13th of a month. It's Jerusalem virus. Second, file infector virus adds virus code to the rectangular, uh, sorry, regular programming code with in the program files. The answer is file infector. Adware is a program that displays unwanted advertisement in a banner on the web page. A playload is a destructive event the malware is intended to deliver number five antivirus program detects the changes caused by a virus in the computer the answer is antivirus question number b true false first sentence is virus can damage or destroy the operating system yes this is true sentence boot sector virus is harmless virus program this is false the sleeper virus is known to steal your personal and financial information. It's true. Viruses get activated by downloading an infected file from the internet. This is true sentence. We should ignore new virus alerts and virus hoaxes while using internet. This is false statement. Next question is fill in the blanks. Viruses are programmed intentionally by a programmer known as virus author. The answer is virus author. Second one is a virus enters a computer through an attachment with an email message. Yes, the answer is email. A Trojan horse virus comes as a friendly program. The answer is Trojan horse. A virus definition is known specific pattern of virus code is known as a virus hoax warns users of a non-existent virus or a malware the next question is differentiate between the following first is adware and spyware so adware is a program that displays an unwanted advertisement in a banner pop-up window on web pages email messages or on other internet services this is adware and the spyware spyware is a program placed on a computer or mobile device without the user's knowledge that secretly collects information about the user and then communicates the same information to some outside source while the user is online so this is the difference between adware and spyware next is answering one two sentences what is computer virus a computer virus is a program which is created deliberately deliberately means deliberately to damage critical information and data it is intentional deliberately means intentionally program virus yes second question is why do we use antivirus program yes Everybody knows antivirus program protects a computer against virus. Identifying and removing any computer virus found in the memory, storage media, or incoming files. So that's why we use antivirus program. So third question is what do you understand by virus signature? Antivirus programs use virus signatures as one of their techniques for detecting viruses a virus signature is no specific pattern of virus code answer briefly in that first question is what is boot sector virus this virus attaches itself to the boot sector of the disk boot sector is the part of the disk where startup instructions and the file allocation tables are kept this sector is read and loaded into the memory every time the disk is booted. 
evidently this virus is very dangerous so this is the information about boot sector virus now next sec second question is how does email virus spread so answer is email viruses are spread by the files attached to email messages when we open an email attachment that contains a virus the virus spreads to our computer if we forward the attachment to other people their computers will also be affected when they open the attachment then next third number question is what is ransomware ransomware is a virus it is a type of virus that restricts access to our computer system and demands a ransom yani money that means money to be paid in order to remove the restrictions next question number 4 write any two precautions that should be taken to prevent computer virus yes there are two steps so first precaution is scan all downloaded programs for viruses and other malwares stay informed about new viruses alerts and virus hoaxes yes general g question that is application based question this is the question and directly uh, you receive an email message that appears to be from someone you know when you try to open the attachment nothing happens you attempt to open the attachment two or more times but without any success a few minutes later your computer is running slower and you are having trouble running apps what might be wrong kya galat hua hai ki aapko kuch mail aaya usse aapne khole ki koshish ki lekin kuch problem aa rahi hai app acche se nahi chal rahe computer theek se chal nahi raha hai slow ho gaya kya ho gaya hoga to answer iska ye hai the email attachment may contains a virus that made the computer slow and created trouble in running apps to jo email attachment thi usme kya tha virus tha uski wajah se kaam ho chuka hai so friends please subscribe the channel thank you for watching this video and bye bye take care